Hello guys, welcome to another few money. Today we are going to talk about Bitcoin dropping down the price action and uh, all the commotion and emotion that we have been feeling for the last few days. So we are going to jump into screen share and uh, analyze starting with the price to time model. If you enjoy this content, gently touch the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. So let's jump into the price to time model and let's see what we have here. So here it is. And we are now below the 20 week SMA. So as I said before, this is not uh, very good. I would prefer the price action to be above the 20 week SMA. However, we now dropped below, but there is something uh, not so bad to show you in a few minutes as soon as I get to the pro indicators charts. So, so far the 20 week SMA is pointing sideways. Uh, the price action is just a bit below that, so I guess we are about uh, 48 and a half on the 20 week SMA. And right now the price action is about 40, almost 46, just 125 bucks below, 46k. So that's not a very good picture. However, there is something that I was looking here on the RSI of the price to time model. And as you guys know, this is a weekly chart. So I will show you guys what I did here. So this is the RSI of the price to time model on a weekly chart. And if you guys remember, I said sometimes already uh, in previous videos that we have been uh, more and more looking like the bull cycle of 2013. And here's the RSI with the double top of 2013 to 14. And this is after the first big rise that we had. This is the RSI level that we achieved just after the first peak. And then we had the 75% correction. And now we are just a bit above that same level on the RSI on this bull cycle. So what I'm trying to tell you guys here is in the grand scheme of things of the bull cycle here, uh, we are not so bad as we were in 2013 when the bull cycle corrected 75%. So you, see, you guys see this orange dashed line here. After the first peak, the RSI came back down to almost neutral uh, territory, close to the mean. And I drew this dashed orange line around here. And you guys will see that for this peak now, for the current bull cycle, the RSI is not even there yet. So probably, and it's now starting to point uh, a bit to the right, so not going like vertical, vertically down as it was coming in the last few days or weeks. But now it's going, it's starting to point sideways, still a bit steep, the, the curve, but it's already showing some signs of going sideways. So I would say this orange dashed line here, which is the previous level of the RSI after the first peak of 2013, is a very good indication of where the RSI could go. So we could still have some kind of a drop down, but going sideways already and preparing to accumulate at this level, which is in fact not a very big or very, very, very good sign, but it's a good sign uh, that things could be um, starting to at least uh, going sideways and accumulate and not continue to drop down. But we will see the next charts just after this one. So let's take a look quickly on the MRI. The MRI charts don't don't really look good. So the the weekly chart already shows the candle, the new week that started uh, just a few hours ago, not even 24 hours ago, below the 20 week SMA, which now is around. Uh, let me check here. 49, not 49 yet, but almost 49, 48.8 or 0.9. And we are already below that forming a new candle since the week started just a few hours ago. And we are now around the 44, 44K. So as you guys know, I had two trend lines. The first one was broken here close to the top around 50, 
around 58.5k and i have a second trend line which is the one that was coming from here from the first uh, from the start of this bull cycle and we are still ways away from that so we didn't touch that line yet also we have a very strong support around the 40 41k so i'm not expecting this trend line to be touched unless we as the rsi showed in the price to time model we have some kind of a curve here before going back up again for some kind of reversal of the price however there's something i want to delete from here this triangle does not make any sense anymore and also this pennant is something i don't need anymore because this was broken sorry i want to delete that okay and this one here so i'm just going to leave my trend lines for now on the weekly chart and let's see where this will take us we have been having some support starting here around the 44k this is where the level I, I told you guys from the 40k to the 44k i told you that there was a lot of uh, smart money waiting for this level i guess they already started to buy too also the retail started to buy yesterday after the first big drop and we still have the support around the 40 to 41 and a half k so i'm not expecting big moves to the downside uh so um so quickly again but however it's possible that we very slowly continue to drop a bit and start to form some kind of a bottom here so let's see what happens however my second trend line is still here it has not been broken so i'm not really scared yet in fact i bought some bitcoin yesterday after the first big drop and the level i bought as you guys know because i tweeted about it it was around the 44.5k this was my first position i had a second position a limit by around 42k and i missed it or the position was missed by the price action by 170 bucks so i was really pissed off this morning when i woke up because i didn't uh, uh, my my limit by order was not triggered and i was expecting to buy another position around here very close to this uh, the the point of this uh, week the tip of the week but it didn't happen so we probably will see a retest of that level so i'm not really worried and if not i can always move it a bit above the level i have it now so there's no problem with that so the weekly chart looks really ugly we are below the 20 week sma just to sum it up the rsi is going sideways just pointing a bit down the macd completely bearish and this is the outlook for the weekly chart which doesn't look good at all so let's go to the daily so the daily chart shows that we broke this um this um ranging channel here that we had on the horizontal however there's also another good sign on the daily chart we are on an mri warning this means that the next candle if we continue to go down will be a nine red a red nine from the one to nine count and this will be an mri bottom showing some good signs that we could have a reversal of the price action tomorrow or the next day so let's hope that we are forming a bottom here and the mri bottom will help us or help bitcoin in this case to see the path of the reversal on the price action the volume has been going up of course with all this sell uh, action and the rsi is now on oversold territory or just a hair away from the oversold territory so if we could go down a bit more to the support of the 40 to 41 and a half k i bet the rsi would go into oversold territory and that will also be good so let's hope that the next candle will be a, a red nine count and the perfect mri bottom which will be give you guys and me and everyone else a good indication that you can start to buy again so the macd very very bearish so the blue line is very distant from the orange line the bars continue to uh, grow in size to the downside of course and this is not very good also let's take a look at the four hour so the four hour shows that we have 
the dip that we had been looking since yesterday uh, the first level where I bought was around here at halfway of this big red candle but it still went down a bit and then when this one went really down to the 42 170 dollars I missed it by 170 dollars so I had my limit by order around 42 and it didn't trigger my order so I was really angry this morning however as you guys can see here on the 4-hour, there's still some momentum to the downside. Probably we will retest this level. Who knows, even we could go to 41, 41.5k and then start the actual reversal of the price action on the 4-hour. Uh, this didn't load, by the way, the MRI didn't load. Let me just reload the chart. Let's see. So this is the weekly again. This is not what I want. Let me go back to the 4-hour and see if the MRI loads. Aha, here's the MRI now. So we are, and I need to push it a bit up because I cannot see the numbers. So we are on the one, on a red one of nine, but I don't see this going down much further unless we have really small candles to the downside uh, until we get to a nine count, but I seriously doubt it that we will have another nine candles, or in this case, eight red candles to the downside. So the four hours also doesn't look very good. We had the sell signal here. Uh, when the sell signal triggered after these candles here on the left, I started to buy. So this was a sell signal, but I started to buy around here, for, as I said already, 44.5k. The RSI is, uh, has been already yesterday on oversold. Then we had this retracement back up and we are now getting back down. So probably we are going to retest the same levels of yesterday or just a bit lower. And this will present a very good opportunity. If in conjunction with the MRI bottom on the daily chart, this will present a very good opportunity to buy the dip and probably see a reversal of the price action, at least for the short term, going to the upside. So that's what we have for the four hours. There's no point looking at the BitMEX funding rate because it's really close to neutral. Uh, this is 0 0.006, so not even interesting at all right now. There is no action on the BitMEX funding rate. No point looking at it. Uh, so the one hour, just to confirm, BitMEX, BitMEX funding rate, exactly. So this is 0 0.008, just a bit above what I said before. And on the one hour, we are again going down. So we have a sell signal. We are below the moving averages. All the moving averages in order, but reversed. We have the shorter uh, ones on the bottom and the longer ones on top. So the one hour, <coughs> sorry, the one hour does not look good also. So in sum, uh, just to sum it up, the only good two signs we have is um, as I said before, the RSI on the price to time model shows that we are still a bit above the level of the previous bull cycle of 2013, when we had the two, uh, the first local top and the absolute top by the end of the bull cycle. So in the meantime, in between those two tops, the RSI came back down and we are still a bit above that level right now. And the other one is, of course, the daily chart is showing that the next candle, so tomorrow, will be an MRI, MRI bottom. Sorry for that. <laughs> MRI bottom. So probably tomorrow or the day after, we will see some action to the upside, which is what everyone is expecting. So let's now take a look at the Pro Indicators framework, which... Um, I don't want to make a very big video today, but of course this is important. So guys, if I can claim it, finally I can claim it, just like uh, the clickbait trolls that you know already who I'm talking about. Um, I can say exactly as predicted, and we had the first range boundary here. Let me just zoom in a bit so you guys can see it better. We had the first range boundary here after the all-time high at 64, almost $65,000. The second range boundary, which allow me to have already uh, 
this amplitude to have my Fibonacci um, levels plotted if I wanted to make some calculations here. And then we had a third range boundary, which invalidated, by the way, two others previously to that, one here and one there. And then we had this last uh, push up to the upside and we formed the third range boundary when I finally plotted and adjusted the last for the last time this ranging channel that you guys see here in white and then just aligning it with the second range boundary here so you need of course three points to make a ranging channel you need the first range boundary the second and the third and then as i uh, exactly as predicted i had uh, a plan c that was already uh, in line with the possibility that we could form a fourth range boundary here uh, exactly at the bottom of the ranging channel invalidating the previous one that we had that was just a bit below the second range boundary level so in this case as you guys know and if you have been following my videos you know you you know already i had three plans a and b were basically the two rectangles here the green and the red so if the price was going back up at this uh at this point in time and breaking up the raging channel to the upside i was uh, expecting to take some profits around this red rectangle area if we were to go back down which happened i was supposed to start buying some long positions on bitcoin which i did i bought one around the 50k and a half just below this rectangle when we started to go up here which I thought it was the first, uh, this was the first bottom that I thought would be the bottom for this drop. And then I said uh, also a few videos ago that I had a plan C and in case this goes completely crazy to the downside, which would be to expect, although in, uh, I said by then that the probability was very low and it happened, we could go back to the, the bottom of the ranging channel and form a fourth range boundary exactly where it should textbook maneuver this is the fourth range boundary around the ranging channel and i don't expect the price action to break it much more to the downside unless we go to five uh, to 41 and a half where big support is already waiting so we could probably see a bit lower level and probably even invalidating this four range boundary here, but I don't see it with a very big probability, which I, I also didn't see the plan C with a very big probability and it happened. So it doesn't mean it will not happen, but it means the probabilities are lower and lower and lower every day or every hour that goes by of seeing lower levels than this fourth range boundary here so i believe the ranging channel could put a stop to this at least for the short term and we could see some kind of reversal here to retest new uh, levels above so this is the uh, good news about the pro indicators which gives me a, a different kind of outlook on the charts and of course with this ranging channel here and the strategy of the pro indicators uh, telling me that the fourth range boundary could be could be already um, on its final level. Um, the outlook tells me that we could start to see a reversal with bigger, pro much bigger probabilities than seeing lower levels than this one here. So for now, um, everything, the momentum and the sine wave are starting to point up. Of course, we have really bearish signs here already, but. Uh, I think that things are about to reverse and probably tomorrow also in conjunction with the MRI bottom we could see a price reversal soon in hours or one or two days max. So let's uh, let's hope for the for the for the best and this is the analysis I have for you guys today. So let me go back to uh, my main screen and um, just summing it up to small but good signs on the MRI strategy. You guys know already, uh, actually not both of them on the MRI strategy, one on the price to time model, which is the RSI level, and we are still above the previous one of 2013 when we had the first big drop. The second one on the MRI is of course the MRI bottom for tomorrow, for the next candle that will start after midnight today. 
And the third one is that we reached a new four range boundary on the pro indicators framework and the sine wave and momentum are pointing up. So guys, this is the analysis I have for you today. And be careful out there. Don't trade. Uh, if you don't know or if you don't have a plan for what you're doing and gently touch the like button if you enjoyed this content, subscribe to the channel if you are new and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.